Hello everyone, this is Teacher Love and welcome sa ating math lesson. Our topic for today is solving word problems involving addition and or subtraction of decimals and mixed numbers. Paano nga ba mag-solve ng word problems involving sa pag-aad at pagsasubtract ng mga decimals at mixed numbers? Madalas, mabilis lang nating i-add o i-subtract ang decimals. Paano kung nasa word problem na siya? Let's learn how to solve word problems. I have here a sample word problem. Mang Kaloy cut four pieces of bamboo. The first piece was 0.75 meters. The second was 2.278 meters. The third bamboo was 6.11 meters. And the fourth was 6.72 meters. How much longer were third and fourth pieces if put together than the first and second pieces? To answer this word problem, matutulungan tayo gamit ang method na ituturo ko sa inyo. And the method that we will learn today is the Agonsa method. What is Agonsa method? Ito'y merong anim na steps gamit ang letra sa salitang agonsa. Ano nga ba ang steps nito? Unang step is A. Ask. What is ask in the problem? Ano ang hinihingi sa word problem? Aalamin mo kung ano ang hinihingi o ano ang hinahanap na sagot sa nabasang word problem. G. Given. Pag sinabing given, ano yung mga binigay na mga numero o detalye sa word problem. Pangatlo, operation. Paano natin isosolve ito? Anong gagamitin nating operation? Addition ba siya or subtraction? N, numbers or number sentence. Paano isusulat ang mga numbers sa given para masolve ang word problem? Mahalaga ito upang maunawaan kung paano isolve ang iyong word problem. S, stands for the solution. Paano isolve ang mga binigay na numbers dito? At ang huli is A, answer. Dito natin sinusulat kung ano ang sagot sa tanong natin sa ask. The last A, answer the first A. So, agon sa method follows the six steps. First, what is ask? Second, what are the given? Third, what operations to use? Fourth, what is the number sentence or what are the number sentences? S, what is the solution? And lastly, is the answer. Balikan natin ang ating word problem kanina. Mang Kaloy cut four pieces of bamboo. The first piece was 0.75 meter. The second was 2.278 meters. Third was 6.11 meters. And the fourth was 6.72 meters. How much longer were third and fourth pieces if put together than the first and second pieces? Para mas lalong maintindihan, makakatulong na intindihin muna sa pamagitan ng pagtatranslate ng bawat sentence ng problem na ito sa lingwahe na nauunawaan mo. For example, Si Mang Kaloy ay nagputol ng apat na piraso ng kawayan. Ang unang piraso ay may habang 0.75 metro. Ang pangalawang piraso ng kawayan is 2.278 meters. Ang pangatlong kawayan ay may habang 6.11 at ang pangapat ay may habang 6.72 meters. Ang tanong is, gano kahaba or how much longer ang pinagsamang pangat ang pinagsamang third at fourth na kawayan kesa sa una at ikalawang kawayan okay so mas naunawa natin yung tanong dahil na translate natin siya sa ating salita ngayon para isolve ito susundin natin yung method natin kanina which is the agonsa method first is ask What is ask in the word problem? 
ang hinihingi doon is how much longer were the third and fourth pieces if put together than the first and second sentence. The length of third and fourth bamboo more than the first and second. Yan ang hinihingi. Yan ang hahanapan natin ng sagot. Second step, given. Binigay dito ang haba ng unang bamboo, pangalawang bamboo, pangatlong bamboo, at pangapat na bamboo. Nakalagay dyan. Sinulat natin. Ngayon, operation. Base sa word problem, paano natin isusolve? We will solve it by addition and subtraction. Gagamit tayo ng dalawang operation sa pagsusolve. Then, the number sentences. Tatlo ang nilagay ko kasi tatlong beses tayong magsusolve. Una, ia-add natin ang first at second bamboo, ang haba nila. Yan ang magiging sagot natin sa A. Nilagay kong A dahil yan ang magiging sagot sa first set. Second set is the length of the combined third and fourth bamboo. 6.11 plus 6.72 equals B. Ang pangatlong solution is subtraction. Ima-minus natin yung sagot sa B sa, sa sagot sa A at yan ang magiging final answer natin. So these are the number sentences in our word problem. Now, we already have the number sentences. Let us go to the next step which is the solution. First, we add. We add the first step, set, and the second set. To add the decimals, you have to arrange the decimal numbers by column. Pababa. At ang pag-a-arrange niya ay depende sa linya or alignment ng decimal points. Naka-align ang decimal points. Magkakahanay sila. So, we already have an arranged decimal set or decimal numbers. Now, how to solve? Pag nag-a-add or nagsasubtract ng decimals, parang nag-a-add or nagsasubtract ka lang din ng regular or whole numbers. We add it from right to left. Ang pagkakaiba lang, meron tayong ilalagay na decimal point since these are decimal numbers. Now, naka-align na siya. Para hindi ka mahirapan, tingnan mo kung ang bawat number ay may katapat. Ito may katapat. Sila magkatapat. Sila magkatapat. Sa 8, walang katapat. Kapag walang katapat na number, lagyan mo siya ng 0 para hindi ka malito. Now, let's add. 0 plus 8 equals 8. 5 plus 7 equals 12. Carry 1. So, 1 plus 7 is 8 plus 2 is 10. So, we put 0 here. At nalagay natin yung 1 sa taas. Scary. So, 1 plus 2 equals 3. Now, the last there is the decimal point. Ibababa mo lang yung decimal point. So, we already have the answer for the first set. Now, let's go to the second set. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 7 is 8. 6 plus 6 is 12. And we bring down the decimal point. We align the decimal point to the alignment on the given numbers. Ayan. So, ang sagot dito is 12.83. Meron na tayong sagot sa A, first set, at second set. Sa so third and fourth bamboo. Now, yung last na part there is subtraction. We subtract the sum of the third and fourth bamboo to the sum of the first and second bamboo. So, let's go to our next step. We subtract. Gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, kapag nag add or nagsasubtract ng numbers, i-arrange ang numbers by column. Lalo na if it is decimal number or the, these are decimal numbers. Now, tingnan kung may katapat. Kung ang number ay walang katapat, bigyan mo siya ng zero para hindi nakakalito. Okay, kompleto na. Hindi na, ba, hindi na babago ang value niya kahit may zero siya dyan. Let's subtract. 0 minus 8, we cannot, we cannot subtract it. So, we have to borrow from 3. 3 becomes 2. And the 1 goes to 0. And the 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 8 equals 2. 2 minus 2 equals 0. 8 minus 0 equals 8. Then, let's go to the next number. 2 minus 3 cannot be. So, we borrow... 
one number from the next to its number, which is 1. So, T1 magiging 0, T2 magiging 12. Nilagay natin yung 1 katabi sa 2. 12 minus 3 is 9. And the last part there is the decimal point. Don't forget the decimal point. Kasi ang decimal point ang magbabago sa value ng number. Okay? So, we have 9.802. So, our final answer is the third and fourth bamboo is 9.802 meters longer than the first and second. Nakuha natin yung sagot dito sa tanong kanina sa last part ng Agonsa Method. Muli, ano ang Agonsa Method? Ito'y paraan para masolve ang word problems. Gagamit ka ng Agonsa, which stands for what is asked, what are the given operations to be used, the number sentence, the solution, and finally, the answer. I hope may natutunan kayo sa ating aralin. Kung ito yung nagustuhan ninyo, please click the like and subscribe na rin po ng aming YouTube channel. And pwede rin po kayong mag-click doon sa notification bell para kayo ay ma-notify sa mga susunod pa nating video. Maraming salamat and God bless you!